Welcome to Finance Reporting, or the FR paper for the international version. The key to pass the ACCA FR paper is to know the standards well, which means the IFRS. However, in this particular exam, that the examining team has its own preference of testing what areas of the uh, office standard. So make sure that you follow the correct approach. I must say that the syllabus for the FR is huge. It's a huge syllabus for the FR. However, based on our tutor's experience, uh, for example, based on my experience, that you don't really have to cover quite a lot of standard in depth. Uh, for example, according to the IAS number 33 or the International Accounting Standards number 33, earnings per share, certain areas would not be tested. So, for example, related to the share options, but don't get me wrong, of course, the diluted EPS will be tested, but the timing to grant the share options to the directors will not be tested in the IAS number 33. And of course, for the IFRS number 15, the revenue from contracts with customers, certain areas will certainly come up. So, for example, the contract in progress will certainly come up in the FI exam. So this is why, according to the ACCA syllabus, as we can say, yes, you will need to cover the conceptual framework as well as the regulatory framework. However, in this particular paper, that the examiner may give you a multiple choice question nowadays to test your understanding related to the conceptual framework requirement. So, for example, whether or not that relates to the faithful representation or the relevance concept. But in the past, when I was a student many, many years ago, that when I sat the FR paper in the past, that the conceptual framework question may come up as a separate question, as a wordy question in the exam. But nowadays, uh, it's not going to be like that. The regulatory framework, on the other hand, will be very similar. Yes, you might get a multiple choice question again for the regulatory framework, so for example, related to the roles and responsibilities of the IFAS Foundation. And then you will need to focus on the left hand side, accounting for transactions in the financial statement. Particularly important to focus on different international accounting standards or IAS and also the international financial reporting standards or IFRS. At the same time, you will also need to know how to prepare the financial statement as well. So these will be tested in the section C of your exam. And finally, also to interpret financial statements may be tested in the section C or the section A as a multiple choice question. In the section C, you may be given a case, okay, where the company has been involved in this industry, has been purchasing lots of subsidiaries, uh, so incorporating that into the group and asking you to comment on the performance after the company has bought the subsidiary by calculating a lot of ratios and uh, making sensible comment. And that's how the exam is tested. Again, as I said before, there will be section A, B, C. Yes, section A, section B will be the MCQ or the multiple choice questions. Section A, 15 MCQs, each with two marks, total at 30 marks. So the Section A MCQs will be quite tough indeed because it comes from any areas in the syllabus. Section B, 15 MCQs will be divided into three cases. So each case will be with five multiple choice questions. And for the Section C, there will be two narrative questions and make sure that you're ready for that. However, for the section B, the examiner has his own preference. So for example, certain areas would come up in each and every sitting exam. For example, the standard related to leases, revenue, intangible assets, property plant equipment, financial instruments, non current asset health for sale, deferred taxes, impairment, event after the reporting period, which means the event happening after the financial statement's date, the event, the interest expense, which means the borrowing costs, provision liabilities, 
changes in accounting policies and estimates and errors, government grants, earnings per share, and the forex accounting. Okay, so any three of those would be tested in each and every exam. In the section C, there'll be four types of questions in the exam, and you will get two out of these four types in your actual exam. The style number one is where you are required to prepare, prepare the single financial statement. You are given the trial balance with lots and lots and lots of adjustment to prepare for the statement of financial position, statement of profit or loss, statement of changes in equity. And also analysis of the single company's financial statements by calculating ratios. And the preparation of the consolidated financial statements as the style number three question. And also analysis of the consolidated financial statement. So make sure they always focus on the effect of disposal of subsidiary in the current exam by calculating the gains or losses and also making sensible comment whether or not the disposal of subsidiary would be good or bad. Now, of course, in our course, I'll be taking you through to the unique exam approach to tackle the worthy paper such as this. The exam is three hours, so it means that you are given 180 minutes to tackle this 100 marks paper. The passing mark will be 50. Again, similar to other papers, my top tip is never to ignore any requirements and any question in this particular paper. You have to attempt all of them so you can get an easy pass in the FR exam. Okay, uh, our teaching approach related to the IFRS, yes, we've got our own summary, uh, so you can easily learn the IFRS uh, in very, very easy steps. And I specialise in teaching IFRS in all the related papers, as well as the financial management papers. And I'm an author for four IFRS accounting books, uh, the technical writer for the ACCA AB magazine. I'm sure my experience and my approach will certainly help with your FI exam. So I look forward to seeing you then. Good luck with your studies. APC, accounting for your future.